Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to permanently disable, temporarily disable, or uninstall Avast Antivirus software on your computer. Now, Avast Antivirus software is actually an excellent application, but it's far from perfect. There's people that get weird issues, like when they're just trying to search Google and all of a sudden this pops up on their screen. Or maybe they're just trying to listen to some music on Spotify and then get this block. They're trying to download something and this pops up, or they're just trying to use a browser extension and this pops up. So there's lots of different reasons why maybe this is getting annoying and why maybe you don't want this on your computer or just temporarily disable it so you can do whatever you need to do for that time. And that's what we're gonna explore in this video. So we'll show you how to disable it temporarily and also we're gonna give you the option to uninstall it right off your computer. And we're gonna do that right now. To get started, we're gonna go down to the start menu in the bottom left hand corner, click on it and look for a vast. So we'll click on the icon and it'll launch. And by default, you're gonna look at this after a clean installation, showing that your computer is protected with no issues. So we wanna go into the settings as our first step to begin disabling it temporarily on your PC. So if you go in the top right hand corner where the menu is, click on that and then select settings. And then over on the left hand side, we wanna select protection. Now inside protection, this is where the four shields are. So we're gonna click on the core shields and when you scroll down, they have it separated. So we have each individual one, depending on which one you want to disable, we can select it. And they're down here at the very bottom. So we have the first one, which is file shield to protect your PC from malicious files. Then we have behavior, web, and mail. So if we want to disable the fire shield first, we're just going to uncheck it. And we're going to get a prompt here. Now this is where you can temporarily disable it for a short period of time. So if you just wanna stop it for an hour, you can do that. You can do it until the next time you restart your computer or you can stop it indefinitely, but you have a choice of how long you want it temporarily disabled. So we're just doing it for an hour. We're gonna click okay, and then we'll continue on with the next component. Okay, and it read a little prompt on the right hand side saying that the, the protection is off. Next, we're gonna go over to behaviors. So we're gonna click on the behavior shield and we're gonna uncheck it the same way. And we'll do the same thing for one hour. We can click okay. Scroll down one more time. And then we have web shield. This is to protect the internet surfing, your browsering. So we can select it for an hour and then click okay. And then lastly, we have the mail shield, which will check your email and try to protect you from any viruses coming in from that way. So again, for one hour and then click okay. So that's one method to disable all four on your PC. Uh, we can do them individually. So depending on which component you want disabled, whether it's behavior, file, browsing, or mail. And here we have them all turned off and we have the option to just turn them back on and with one click and our system is protected and all the four shields are back up and running. Now, another method to do it is by going into the taskbar and disabling it that way. So we're gonna show you how to do that. In the right hand corner where the clock is, click on the little icon and you'll find the Avast protection software right there. If we right click on it, we'll have the option to disable it. So here we go, the shield control is right here and then we get the same options. And this is for all four. So we're gonna disable all the shields. We can do it for one hour. Uh, we can do it indefinitely until the computer restarts. We can also do it permanently. So when we click on it permanently, that means it's not gonna start until you go into the application and turn it back on. And here again is a prompt. And for the third method, say we don't wanna have a VAS on the computer at all. What we'll do is we'll uninstall it completely. And the way we're gonna do that is click on settings and then inside the control panel, hit on apps. And then in the list below here, we just have to look for the Avast free antivirus software, select it and then we'll have a button here to uninstall. So we'll click on the uninstall and it'll prompt us and we can say yes to this. And it's gonna to begin to uninstall the application. On the right hand side in this window, we wanna make sure that we're not modifying it. We're gonna actually uninstall it. So select uninstall and it's gonna take us through the steps by confirming and then we can just say yes, that we do wanna uninstall this. So we'll click on yes. And it's gonna to begin to uninstall the software. And below is just like a little question that it's asking you. This is for their own information as to why you're uninstalling it. Feel free to ignore that or select the answer that you want, it's up to you.
Now it's gonna uninstall all the components on the computer, remove the antivirus protection software, but it won't be complete until the computer actually restarts. So once this process is done, it's gonna ask us to restart the system. Okay, and here we go. Now it's completely done and we have the option to restart later or right now. For this example, we're gonna restart immediately. So we're gonna click on the green reset computer button and it's gonna shut down the computer and reboot. So as the computer reboots, it's actually gonna remove any software components that are left. So everything's actually being completely deleted as it boots back up. And we're gonna log in here and we're gonna to return to our desktop and just verify that it's been completely removed. So we'll go down to the left-hand corner in the start menu, click on it. And under A where it was before, it's now gone. And if we go down to the taskbar, we click on that and the icon here where it was running is now gone. You can also check the control panel and you'll notice that it's been removed there as well. So it's been completely uninstalled from your computer and that is how to uninstall it. We've also showed you how to permanently disable it and temporarily disable it. So those are the steps that you need to take if you want to get Avast off your computer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can put them in their comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. I try to answer all the questions that you put down there. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.